Hi, I'm Dina Loomis, and today I just believe that people need a reminder on something so relevant to everyone, and yet very few people observe it. You want to know what it is? Of course, I'd like to know. This is Doc Che, and I'll be discussing that with Miss Dina Loomis. Yes. Yes. So, what's our topic for uh, this episode? The topic is about frugality. Okay. And the ability to only spend what you earn and uh -huh. save a little besides. I just noticed something, Che. Yes. A lot of people, even very successful businessmen, seem to spend more than they're actually earning. Mm -hmm. In fact, I have heard of a lot of cases of businessmen making huge loans mm -hmm. because they believe, oh, I'm going to earn it anyway. And then they end up spending more than they earn. Mm -hmm. And eventually, they go bankrupt. And sometimes they have to give up everything that they have worked so hard for only because they spend more mm -hmm. than they earn and I'm not even talking about having vices it's just the the loss of control they just mm -hmm. cannot help themselves I have one particular example in mind okay okay a Filipina businesswoman mm -hmm. who earns a lot of money because she's a hard worker and she deals with garments but many times she actually had to cut her credit cards because oh, okay. what happens is <laughs> she would spend and spend and when the the bills come in mm -hmm. she's horrified because she finds out she cannot she cannot pay for them mm. And I thought she's learned her lesson all these years, but no. Until now, mm -hmm. as of the last count, she again came to me asking if she can borrow, oh, okay. borrow money. <laughs> That's the problem and she's, right she's already uh, borrowed from me for mm -hmm. so many times in the mm -hmm. past. And there were several times, in fact, most of the time, mm -hmm. I just have to write them off because she keeps on promising she'll pay, but she could not pay. Oh, okay. Uh, so I've learned my lessons, uh -huh. so I, I'm no longer giving in yes. to giving her loans. Yeah. Oh, there are two things that uh, I remember about uh, what you just said. The first is like uh, a relative of mine, a very close relative, uh, first time in the United States, suddenly discovers credit cards oh. where you can actually spend much, much more than you actually earn. And by the time you realize it, you can't even pay the interest on your credit card anymore because you're still earning only enough to get by, mm -hmm. but that credit card allows you to earn more than what you mm -hmm. spend, yes. more than what you're earning, mm -hmm. such that you're not able to pay for it. And the other is, in so far as uh, paying is concerned, mm -hmm. a lot of people of course think that uh, you're making a lot of money, and especially if you look successful, and maybe you are, mm -hmm. uh, they can approach you. But then again, the solution I have uh, formulated, because I know a lot of people also owe me money, but you just have to write it off, mm -hmm. especially your relatives. Mm -hmm. Uh, as they said, uh, you mm -hmm. can't choose your relatives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when it comes to giving someone a loan, what I really espouse as a formula for everybody mm -hmm. is if you want to help somebody, mm -hmm. give them a loan in the amount that you can afford not to expect to be paid. Oh. So, at least, they might not have gotten the exact amount that they needed, uh -huh. but you still gave them something that you could afford to write off. Mm -hmm. that's, that's my personal formula. And uh, there's something else. Mm -hmm. uh, remember the first segment we had, I mentioned that there was something about the culture of America that I admire, and oh, that yes. is the, mm -hmm. the way they respect people working for them, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And yet, in the case of fiscal deficits, ah, yeah. uh, would you believe it? Mm -hmm. We're better than them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't yeah. have 
the huge deficits yeah. that that they have. Yeah. Deficit spending is a way yeah. of life it, in it's, US politics. Yeah. Can you believe it that they owe China trillions of dollars? Yes, I think about sixteen trillion. The the <laughs> deficit is huge. Yes. And they just kept on spin, spending, spending like mm. like to kingdom come. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing is, one thing that I admire in Filipinos. Now I'm taking, mm. you know, I yeah, take credit for the, the yeah, for contrasting yeah. because this is where we excel, Filipinos, because we don't have the welfare system in mm -hmm. America. Yeah. As a result, I can see Filipinos really working hard. To get by, even just to get by, they mm -hmm. really work hard. And many of our brother, sister Filipinos go abroad and they send money back home mm -hmm. to help their families. And they even keep our economy afloat. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the Americans for generation after generation mm -hmm. got so used to the welfare system yeah. that I've spoken with many of them in America and I asked them if they're working and they said, why should I work? I get paid without working. And mm -hmm. you know what? Mm -hmm. Our welfare gives me more than if I were working. So why should I work? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So in other words, the welfare system in America has also created some kind of mendicants. Mm -hmm. The dependency and a sense of entitlement. Mm -hmm. So they have a lot to learn from the Filipino way of life where if you don't work, you don't earn, and nobody feeds you. Of course, we do have our what mm -hmm. we call uh, what we call our expanded family yeah. system, yeah. where uh -huh. if a relative has no job, he can mm -hmm. always come running to us for for emergencies and etc. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and yet, in that manner, in this particular item now about frugality, in many ways. Filipinos mm -hmm. are, and even I believe Chinese, mm -hmm. Taiwanese, Koreans are so much better than Americans mm -hmm. or, or some of the Western mm -hmm. uh, uh, people that I know is because they get so used to the welfare system mm -hmm. and then they live on credit cards. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, of course, that now they're suffering Europe and, and America. America yeah. Both of them. Mm -hmm. Both both parts of the world while Asia is now booming is thriving yeah yeah exactly. so praise God that we have not learned to be dependent on the government <laughs> I'm so glad yes I'm so happy for that well that's cool well stay tuned for our next episode uh, you can uh, log on to our website and on YouTube and this is Doc Chelehano we'll see you in our next episode Miss Dina yes indeed just a reminder, we will spend only what we can earn after putting aside something for savings. That way, we have a much better future. Mm -hmm. So goodbye for now. <laughs>